Dear friends, welcome to my channel Understanding RSGS and Geography. In this video, we will try to learn how to calculate NDVA, means Normalized Difference Vegetation Index in Google Earth Engine. In this video, we will learn about NDVA calculation using Sentinel-2 data. So first of all, you need to call the data. What you need to do first? You need to select the variable. Variable, I am naming here variable S22. This is the image collection Copernicus for S2 harmonized and then you need to filter by date then filter by cloud cover percentage less than 10 and then you need to select the bands on which bands you will work and then you can select a mean or median I am uh, here I am selecting the median then it, you need to click clip in the ry means region of interest for that region of interest you need to select the region of interest interest first think that this is the region of interest i'm naming it as roi okay and then on this symbol you need to give and then you need to do what you may know ndva is calculated from near infrared and red bands you can see the properties of the bands copy the path and then paste here and then search this is the data set and you need to click on bands see that red band b4 and near infrared band b8 okay band name is b8 and for ndvi calculation red and near infrared band is needed means band 8 and band 4 and you may know the ndvi formula is near infrared minus red by near infrared plus red for that reason uh, here one function is here ndvi i am naming as ndvi 2022 and um, but uh, i am giving the date first january 2023 to 31st uh, december 2023 and me median image is taken and ndvi is calculated as this variable dot normalized difference and you know band 8 is near infrared and band 4 is uh, red band and just click on run then your ndvi calculation will be completed and if you want to see right map add layer this is the map add layer and you need to copy this and paste here and comma visualization parameter i am not giving now and then name it as ndva okay and then uh, map center object ROI means region of interest and then click on run and um, untick this and here is the NDVI I am minus 1 to plus 1 I am stretching it 100% and then apply this is the NDVI map in gamma range you need you can plot palette select a palette yes this okay add a palette and little diff okay then i want to add on another few palette more diff okay then another palette more more diff okay then apply see that this is the ndvi map from the sentinel 2 imagery ndvi calculation in this process will be better than any other process but i'll show another process of ndvi calculation from this type of imagery in the next video so please 
subscribe my channel understanding rsgs and geography and click on bell icon to get the notification of the new videos and i think this video will be helpful for you how to calculate ndvi using copernicus means sentinel 2 data in google earth engine platform so please like this video share among your friends and of course comment me if you have any query or suggestions for me thanks for watching till the end thank you so much